here we go. We're starting with this template. Uh, this I just made by bending a piece of the same aluminum that we have until I got the curve that I was looking for and then I shaped it. Those two holes right there, those are just to mount everything down and keep everything together. And as you can see here, I used a backer or a board to mount everything to. Drilled me two holes right here. In the uh, That way everything would be in the same place. Now we're using our scrap board. We'll go ahead and drill our first hole with our template and then uh, put us a bolt down there so everybody everything stays the same. We'll go ahead and drill our second hole again put a bolt down in it and, uh, and then we go ahead and trace out our outline for our piece that we need to cut out. Here we're just adjusting the table saw till we get the right height and then we go ahead and cut out all the excess on the uh, on the piece that we're gonna route out here in a minute. Of course you can see it's kind of hard to uh, to cut out around a curve with a straight blade so just make sure and use a pencil or something get all these uh, extra pieces out of the way you don't need any don't need to cut off your finger or something. All right right here we just got to mount it all down that way we can route it down route it out so uh, there we go my screws go through the holes we go ahead and screw that down nice and tight and then because I uh, put a piece down at the bottom here and go ahead and screw everything into it because I found that the clamps kind of get in the way so uh, now we just set the depth right on our router and uh, route out the piece and uh, the that's got a roller bearing on there so it's actually going on the template so that as long as I do this all of them should be the same now we just got to unscrew everything and, uh, and take it all apart and uh, here you go this is all of them finished I've got my, uh, what is this, nine pieces all together. Now we just got to figure out how, how long the curve is on here because uh, that's what we're going to actually mount the metal to. So uh, we're just rolling it out here, make a rough estimate mark, and uh, go ahead and measure it out. It comes out to be about 15 and a half. So just remember that. Here we measure the metal, and uh, I believe it came out to 118, 118 inches. All right, so we got our 118 inches, and uh, we need three pieces. So we take that, divide it by three, comes out to be about 39 inches. So we're going to go ahead and round that till we get to uh, 36 inches or three feet. So we got three pieces times three feet. So take that. Now we got to go and measure the uh, the width of the of the what we need. It says 20 20 inches is how wide it is. We only need 15 and a half, so that'll work. We'll uh, go ahead and square off the end of this because it wasn't straight to begin with. And uh, just scoring it here with a knife. Take it after that and, and just start to bend it till it, till it gives a little bit. And uh, once it starts to give pretty well, then they go ahead and just snap it off. Go ahead and measure out the uh, the... 36 inches or three feet that we need and uh, mark it square it off go ahead and score it and uh, then we just take it and bend it up until you know like we just did with the other end just bend it up until uh, until it starts to give and once it gives and you can go ahead and snap that piece as well so then we have our three feet after that we uh, we got to go and do the, uh, the 15 and a half inches, which is great because this thing is kind of, I don't know what's going on with the, the end of it, but you can see it's kind of mangled up. It's corroding or something. So we're going to take off that bad place. So we, all right. So you can see a multiple, well, an array of screws here. Basically I'm using scrap screws, things that I've taken apart out of everything else. And, uh, I need, I figured it up. And I'll show you in a second how I figured up how many I needed and kind of template off onto each piece so I can see where to put them. Um, but I realized I needed nine screws per each of these wooden pieces. So, um, And then I wanted all the screws to be in the same place since they're all different. Um, I needed to make sure everything was balanced right. So everything is going to be in the same place. So I figured nine screws needed to go in each spot as long as they were the same. Uh, 
you know, so that all three on one piece in one area would be the same, then it should work out and balance it. You can see this right here. This is a uh, the shortest screw that I'll need because I don't have much wood to work with there. Um, so that would be my first screw there. And uh, so my first screw is the shortest. Everything else doesn't really matter. I just uh, need to make sure that one is nice and short so that I don't go over with it. So anyway, here's here's where uh, how I marked off each of these. I just take this band right here. This is just some strapping material. Um, I bent it over on one side so that I could kind of hook it around the end of this. And this being a band, I can kind of bend it around and follow the curve of this piece. It's already got some holes that are equally spaced along the way. So I bend it around there and then uh, mark the holes that I was actually going to use so that I could use that as my template for all my pieces to see where things are going to be. Now because this isn't, this is wider than the piece of wood that, uh, so whenever I mark these holes here, it's not going to be centered on the piece of wood, but it's going to be in the right place. So once I mark the holes here, then I can go back and measure the piece of wood and, and then put a mark for the center on that line. So that's where I got everything going and that's where I'd, I'd be drilling at that point. So here we go, marking the holes. I'm gonna go through and, and uh, once it's all marked, then I just had to go through and drill it all out. <clears throat> all right guys, I've already put together two of these in the uh, well, off camera just to see how to do it, get a feel for it. Uh, it's time consuming no matter how I do it. So um, the, you'll probably be watching this in fast forward, but this is how I, uh, I put them together. Uh, learned a little bit along the way uh, and need to learn a little bit more because <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a process that could be, uh, well, it could be changed or or this this whole thing could be modified um, to make things better but um, I'm learning as I go and maybe uh, after I get this put together get it tested check things out then then uh, I might even do an update video in the future about things that I thought would make it better um, but this is how it goes together first thing we got to do is measure the halfway point um, I learned that already so measure the halfway point for this um, because putting the ones on the sides it's pretty easy because you can just look um, you can just match it up and make sure it's fitting just perfectly but the one in the middle yeah it's not too easy so we're going to uh, draw our line in the middle and, uh, and then put a line on either side of that so that we got the thickness of our board and uh, we're going to try our best to follow that line whenever we put this in but yeah it is what it is There we go. There's where our center one's going to go. So now just watch and see how slow this goes together. And because I drilled all these holes as perfect as I could, they did stray because of the grain of the wood, because of the different plies in here, <clears throat> things like that. They're not perfect. They're not perfectly straight. They're not perfectly in the right places things like that so I am actually going to drill this each of the holes on this to match the holes on each piece here kinda of difficult I'm gonna start out with this one this is the one that's solid wood and uh, because I've got the other two with this on the bottom and I want to keep the weight balanced out basically roughly the same I'm gonna use this one on the bottom here as well so basically just line it up with the edge, drill our first hole, put a screw in. Um, again, I've got all the screws. <clears throat> all the screws here, they're in the exact order, uh, roughly. Because um, I believe this one here, on all the other ones, is actually the last one I put in. So I'm going to start off with this one. 
work my way through and put all these in. That way they'll be in the exact same place as they were on the other ones because these are all different size screws and I want to make sure they're as balanced as they can be. So there you go. This is uh, the last of it. Final screw. Um, looks pretty good to me. Check out my next video for uh, for how I put this all together, and uh, and maybe we can do some tests with it. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, uh, if you make something similar, uh, hopefully it works out. We'll see how this goes. Thanks. <laughs>